कविता जितकल लोली कन्यका कांतवक्षसे करुणादि गुणाध्याय कमला निधये नमः दिव्य देश वैभवम लेट्स नो अबाउट दिव्य देशम्स बेस्ड ऑन द दिव्य देश वैभव स्तुति कंपोस्ड बाय आशु कवि सार्वभौम श्रीनिधि स्वामी वी हैव बीन वर्चुअली लुकिंग एट द डिस्क्रिप्शंस ऑफ द तिरुनांगूर सेट ऑफ दिव्य देशम्स we have covered five amongst the set of 11 namely tiru kavalam padi tiru arimeya vinnagaram tiru van purudottamam tiru semponsei koyil and tiru manimada koyil today we shall be looking at the sixth in this series of 11 this is the shrine of tiruvali tirunagari as the name sounds this divyadesham comprises of two places namely tiruvali and tirunagari which are situated at a distance of about 1.5 kilometers from each other the kshetram of tiruvali houses the lord vayalali manavalan or lakshmi narasimhan and tirunagari has vedarajan as the presiding deity he is also called as vayalali manavalan sometimes the utsava murti is kalyana ranganatha swami how the shrines of tiruvali and tirunagari came into being are interesting stories it is said that after the slaying of the demon hiranyakashipu lord narasimha was in great fury thinking about all the hardships that his beloved devotee prakhlada had to undergo under the hands of hiranyakashipu nobody could pacify him till lakshmi devi came and sat on his lap and affectionately caressed him saying that finally the devotee had been saved and prakladan too came in front of the lord and submitted that he was supremely graced by the kindness of the lord and that he was extremely happy since lakshmi devi caressed the lord with her hands this kshetram came to be known as tiruvali alittu kondal is a tamil phrase which refers to caressing the lord tirunagari became tirunagari because of lakshmi devi too it is said that lakshmi devi came down to earth on this kshetram to live in a lotus pond because she wanted the lord to come to this kshetram and be ready to receive a special devotee who was to come in the kali yuga this special devotee was none other than tirumangayalvar so since lakshmi devi came and hid inside a lotus the lord too came following her and made this lotus bloom by his simple glance once the lotus bloomed lakshmi devi came out and got united with the lord again and started residing in this kshetram since tiru or lakshmi devi caused the lord to come here to this kshetram it came to be known as tirunagari well the lord and lakshmi devi were present in tiruvali tirunagari to specially bestow the tiru mantra to tirumangayalvar so many tirus associated with this kshetram tirumangayalvar was once upon a time a chief ten who was adept at warfare and was completely involved in worldly pleasures he happened to see kumudavalli whom he wanted to get married to but kumudavalli had a clause that only if tirumangayalvar who was then known as neelan would feed a thousand devotees every day for a period of a whole year would she get married to neelan neelan wanted to get married to kumudavalli at any cost and so he started fulfilling her wish by feeding a thousand devotees daily for the period of a whole year by the end of the year kumudavalli agreed to get married to neelan and neelan realized that 
feeding devotees gave him supreme satisfaction and happiness so even after his wedding with kumudavalli he continued offering this service of feeding the devotees or bhagavata tadiya aradhana he did this till he ran out of all his treasures he felt that he must continue the service by even robbing people if required and he turned into a robber a decoy who would waylay passengers and loot them so that he could get money to feed devotees the lord realized that though the intention of neelan was good that he wanted to feed bhagavatas but the way that he chose to do so was not correct so wanting to correct this devotee of his the lord and lakshmi devi disguised as a newly wed couple and came in front of decoyed neelan who waylaid them and tried to take all their jewels neelan was able to remove everything except for the touring of the lord he asked the lord as to why this touring was not coming out what spell had he cast on the touring in fact to this the lord said well that is a spell it is a mantra let me tell you what that mantra is saying so he called neelan aside and gave him the upadesha of tirumantra in his ears this transformed neelan into tirumanga yalvar this story happened at tirumanangkollai which is present between tiruvalli and tirunagari so in this place the lord had shown himself as pratyaksham to tirumanga yalvar and he also receives the mangalashasanam of tirumanga yalvar through 41 pasurams and of kulashekar yalvar through one pasuram the beautiful teethams of lakshana pushkarani and ahlada pushkarani are also found in this kshetram let us now listen to a verse composed by shrinidhi swami on tiruvalli and another verse on tirunagari tiruvalli pure shubha ki lalakshani sa vidhe paashi digana nasthitah vayalali manala nama dheyas tiruvalli ಅಕ್ಷರನಾಮಕೆ ವಿಮಾನೆ ತಿರುನಗರಿ ದಿವ್ಯ ದೇಶೆ ಸಾಮೃತವಲ್ಲಿ ಪರಾಗ್ ದಿಶಂ ಪಶ್ಯನ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣರಂಗನಾಥ ಕುಲಶೇಖರ ಮಂಗನಾಥ ಗೀತೋಸ್ತಿ ತಿರುವಾಲಿ ಪುರೇ ಶುಭ ಕಿಲ ಲಾಕ್ಷಣಿ ಸವಿಧೆ ಪಾಶಿ ದಿಗಾನನ ಸ್ಥಿತ ವಯಲಾಲಿ ಮನಾಳ ನಾಮ ಧೇಯ ತಿರುವಾಕ್ಷರ ನಾಮ ಕವಿ ಮಾನೆ ತಿರುನಗರಿ ಸಾಮೃತವಲ್ಲಿ ಪರಾಗ್ದಿಶಂ ಪಶ್ಯನ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣರಂಗನಾಥ ಕುಲಶೇಖರ ಮಂಗನಾಥ ಗೀತೋಸ್ತಿ 